binary tree maximum path sum. Okay. So in this question, what we have, we have a address of a root node of a binary tree, and what we need to do, we need to return the maximum path sum. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, basically, what we need to do is we have we have lots of possible paths, right? So uh, let's say this is one path, this is one path. Uh, this is one path, this is in fact also one path. So we have n number of paths and what we need to do is we need to return or we need to find the path which has maximum sum and we need to return that sum, right? So how we'll do this? We basically, we'll basically go to all the nodes. We'll basically go, again listen to me, right? Again listen. We basically go to all the nodes of our binary tree and find a sum of path, right? And the maximum among all of them will be our un, right? This is it. This is it. This is it. This is how we are going to solve this problem. Okay. So let's just let's just fix a root node as our source node and find the possible find the possible path sum from that node. Okay. So if we if we fix a root node as a source node, then one path one path could be this. We will we don't go anywhere. We will we'll, uh, stay on that node. So this is one possibility. So this is one path. So this is our path number one. Another path could be this. We will go from minus ten to nine. So this can be our another path. One path can be we'll go from minus 10 to 20 so this could be our path number 3 right one path can also be this this whole this whole thing right that is minus 9 minus sorry 9 minus 9 and 20 so this is our path number 4 okay path number 5 can be we'll go from minus 10 then 20 then 15. So this is this is our path number five, right? Uh, path number six can be we'll go from minus ten, then twenty, then seven. So this can be our path number six. Okay. Path number seven can be we'll go from minus nine, then minus ten, then twenty, then fifteen. So this is our path number I think seven, right? Okay, one more possible path we can have is we'll go from minus 9 to minus 10, then 20, then 7. So this can be our path number 8. I think this is it. This is this is the uh, all the possibilities from uh, if we if we fix our root node as a source node, right? So uh, let me write it down here. Okay, so these are our paths. Path number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, it is our path number 1. Path number 1 is, we will not go anywhere. We will we'll, uh, stay on that node. So, so the sum for this path could be, can be actually, actually it is minus 10. And sum for this path is minus 1. Sum for this path is plus 10. Sum for this path is 19. Sum for this path is 25. Some for this path is I think 17. Some for this path is 34. Some for this path is 26. Okay, so fine. So what we will do? Let's say this is our answer. This is our answer. Initially, we are storing a least possible value of our integer. So it is actually minus 2 to the power 31 minus 1. So let's assume that it is minus infinity. So, so uh, we will compare. We will compare all these paths and find maximum among all them. So maximum among all them, all of them is this one. This is path number seven. This is thirty-four. So what we will do? We'll update our answer by this thirty-four. So here it should be thirty-four. So uh, thirty-four is which path? Thirty-four is path number seven so we are talking about this this path so we have found one path which has maximum 
maximum sum if if we treat our root node as a source node right if we treat our root node as a source node okay let me erase it fine so it was this part right it was this path and our answer answer for this instance is 34 but hey what we need to do is we need to repeat this steps for all the nodes of this binary tree right so what we are gonna do we are gonna fix fix each node of this tree as a source node and find all the possible paths from them and then we'll find the maximum sum of that path and then we'll compare it with, with our answer and if it is greater than our answer then we'll update our answer right so let's say if we if we if we come to this node if we if we treat this node as a source node then we'll find all possible paths from this node right okay so we can't go upward right in in, in my tree we can go go only downward so what possible part do we have from this node uh, one path is we'll do, we don't go anywhere we'll stay there one path can be we go from there to there one path can be we go from there to there and one path is this whole we go both direction right we can go in both direction so there are four possible paths we'll find some of the four possible paths and find the maximum on them and then we'll compare that maximum with our answer if it is greater than our answer then we'll update our answer otherwise this should be our answer right this we will do for all the nodes of our binary tree right so this step we are going to repeat for all the nodes of our binary tree and this is nothing but the algorithm to solve this question right okay i hope i hope the algorithm is clear to you guys the algorithm is clear to you now let me show you the code of this problem so right you guys can understand how how the algorithm uh, can be implemented right okay okay so let's just take the earlier example again so this was our tree right let's say the address of root node of uh, this that tree is given to us so what we're gonna do we're gonna create this find max path function and what we'll do we'll pass this root or this address to that function right okay so what we're gonna do in this in this function see we uh, are doing just nothing we are fixing one node and find all the possible paths all the possible paths from that node and finding their sum if sum is greater than our this max sum that is nothing but minus infinity then we will update it otherwise we will do nothing right you guys can also see here if root is null then we will return zero right for example we we come to here so if it is null so we will return zero so it is null this is also null so if we come here then we will return zero but see uh, let's say uh, let's say what we are finding in this left variable we are finding we are finding what is the value of maximum path of your left subtree right this is what we are finding here and what we are what we are finding here what is the value of what is the value of your right right maximum subtree right actually we are finding it here here what we are finding the value of left subtree uh, the the in what we are finding here basically is the path which has maximum sum in your left subtree and here what we are finding the path uh, the sum of path in your right subtree which has a maximum value but hey why are we taking this maximum with zero right so let's say let's say uh, there are two more nodes are there let's say it is 20 minus 20 and minus 20 right so you you came here you came here now you have you, how many how many paths do you have from from that node so one path is you stay here don't go anywhere right another one can be you go from this to this and second option is you go from this to this i mean third option is you go to this to this and fourth option is you you completely completely uh, include all the three nodes right so see the best option the best option for this case is since both the both the nodes are negative in both the sides so the best way you will not go anywhere you will not go anywhere and you will you will include you will include this node as the maximum path sum right 
so that's why that's why we will find the value of maximum path sum from its left so it will come minus 20 so if it is minus 20 so it, since it is negative since it is negative so what you will do you will make it zero right you will make it zero so instead of returning minus 20 from there we are returning zero actually and similarly we are returning zero here actually so this is nothing but the case you don't go anywhere you will you uh, you stay at your node and this will be the maximum path sum from that node right so this is that case okay so that's why we are we are taking maximum of its left and right subtree with zero okay i think this is this is clear to you right now what we are doing here this is a, a final answer this max sum so we are taking max sum with left plus right plus root dot value okay so let's say uh, let's just come to let's just come to this so if we were treating this node number minus 10 as a source node so our answer was uh, our answer was uh, 34 but hey if we treat this node as a source node and if we talk about this path this complete path then can you tell me what is the answer so if we add 20 15 7 so it will come out 35 35 and 7 42 i guess yeah 42 hey and 42 is of course greater than uh, this 34 right so this is nothing but our max sum and this is the this is our uh, root dot value for for that case if we are treating that that node number 20 is a root node as a source node sorry this 15 is value of a uh, longest uh, value of uh, path sum maximum path sum from left subtree this 7 is maximum path sum from right subtree right so the addition of all these three things is 42 so see this is 42 this is 34 so that is what we are doing here we are taking 34 or 42 max here so since 42 is greater than our max sum so we will update we will update our max sum from 32 to 42 34 to 42 right so this is what we are doing here at right, finally at finally this we will return this so this is basically nothing this is basically basically nothing uh, uh, we are basically uh, finding the uh, maximum of our left and right subtree right and adding it with our root dot value right so uh, our final answer will be this max sum so this is what we return right so okay i think this is it uh, this is the code of this problem and that is how we can implement that algorithm right okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video Thank you so much for watching.